Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a little small 8x10 landscape today. So I'm going to do a tutorial for you that's free. And I want to thank Chocola for sponsoring this tutorial. This is what I'm going to be using to paint with today. It's an acrylic paint set. There are 32 beautiful colors in this set. And we're going to be mostly using the greens, the blues, and the white. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with our eight by 10 canvas and we've got it turned landscape. And I'm just gonna take a pencil and mark out some lines here that are going to be our hills in our landscape. Okay, so I've just got a line drawn this way and then a couple of little lines this way. And then I want to take a pencil and draw a few, just a few little shapes that are coming toward the middle here as if this is our our main center point and everything is kind of coming from that that little point there okay and that's all we're going to do with the pencil now we're going to get out some of our paint and i'm using all the beautiful greens we've got sap green and viridian and phthalo I'm just using a styrofoam plate for my palette today. I'm gonna get out a little bit of yellow ochre, some cobalt blue, and then our titanium white. I'm gonna use a good bit of it. Okay, I've also got just an old rag that I'm using. Oops to wipe my knife off in between colors. Okay, so we're gonna start with these beautiful greens. And I'm gonna take the sap green first, and some white, and just kind of marble those together. And we're gonna start back here on this, this back edge. I'm just pulling my knife across and really just kind of laying down the paint and letting some of the white show through. It's going to be a little, a little marbled. You don't need a straight edge and you don't need to overdo it with your, your blending. You need to let those spots of white and dark stay there okay so I'm going to take a little bit of these other two greens and then I'm just going to marble those together and we're going to do the same thing again here just kind of pull your knife got a little white on there Some more of all three greens. Just pull through, load it on my knife. Let's get a little more bit, a little bit more of this sap green. Wavy lines in there if you want to. Whatever you want to do. See, we've got variation of color here with these greens and that little bit of white that we added in there. So now let's do this area that's going to come down like this. And I'm going to make it a good bit lighter. So 
put in more white and just load it all marbled on my palette knife. I'm gonna pull it on down this way. And I'm just scraping a little more of those marbled greens each time I go back to my palette. And then just kind of pulling them down and around. And that creates all kinds of fun textures. Okay, I want to make some darker areas. So I'm going to take a little bit of this blue and some of the sap green. Let's take some of these other two greens also. I'm just gonna try to make a, a good dark color here. Okay, and I want this dark color to be sort of like a shadowy area underneath heel that we have right here. Okay, so we're going to say I'm going to say this is the top of a heel here. Okay, and then this is darker in this little area right here also. And then if you wanted to, you could add a few more little dark spots. It's just going to give you even more, more heel areas. Okay, so these heels are going to be lighter at the top and darker at the bottom. So let's put some dark down here. And you're just using a very light touch if you're painting wet over wet using a knife, just very lightly. Okay, I think we need to lighten that up just a little bit right there so it's not confusing. It's confusing my eye just a little bit. All right, so just using those few colors, different greens, we can create some really interesting hills and valleys and darks and lights. Okay, now we're gonna wipe off our knife and get it good and clean. And we're gonna mix up a really light blue. So I'm just gonna take some this cobalt blue and a good bit of white. And we'll mix those together. So I'm gonna make a really light, light, light blue color. Okay, and we're going to take this, probably going to have to mix up some more because that's not very much, but we're going to take this and we're going to put it in here for our sky. And we're going to try to avoid these areas here where we've got our clouds or the ideas of some clouds. Gonna come back with some pure white. And we'll add those in at the end. So we're not gonna completely cover the sky with blue. We're gonna leave some areas open. Make it along the edge of our heel here just a little bit.
Okay, so we've got some pretty light and airy blue. I'm gonna get some more white that's clean. I'm gonna wipe off my knife again. We're gonna go in here and add some of these light and airy clouds. I'm picking up my canvas because that helps me to to kind of control where my knife is going to go. And your clouds can be whatever shape you want them to be. They do not have to be round. And while this light blue is still on the canvas and it's still wet, Around the edges of these clouds, you can kind of shake your knife around a little, and that's going to give it some blending, but not too much blending. It will help the edges of it to soften and look a little more wispy. here. Okay, need a little more white. some depth to our clouds by adding some deeper blue in a few spots. Now you don't have to do that if you don't want to. If you like having just these really, really light and beautiful clouds, you can do, you can do it however you would like. So I'm going to take a little bit of this blue and a tiny bit of yellow. Mix those with this white, and it's going to give me sort of a grayish color. Okay, so now I can take that and I can put it on the bottoms or in some, some areas around my clouds, and that's going to give them a little more depth. Just adding that little bit of gray in there. And since your white is still wet, it's going to help to blend a little bit, but you don't want to over blend. You want there to be that, that contrast there. That's the, the reason why we're putting the gray in. And it mostly needs to be on the bottoms of the clouds, but you can add it in other spots too. Just don't overdo it. So once you get your gray on there, you can kind of stand back and look at it and decide if you need to, to pop on some white in a few spots. Maybe you overdid it a little. Come back with a little more white in a spot or two. Now I'm going to just kind of straighten up some of these edges right here where 
my sky meets with my little heel. And that's all there is to it, you guys. That was a really simple, fun, um, very textured and easy landscape. Of course, you can add or take away lots of things. You could darken the sky. You can change up the landscape colors as far as the greens go and the blues go. Um, you could make it a little more moody if you wanted to make it darker. You can lighten it up and make it brighter. It's all up to you. But I hope you enjoyed this. And once again, I want to thank Chocola for supplying us with these awesome acrylic paints for us to use in our lesson today.